Taking salt is not proven by the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But what we learn from here is we are not going to fuss over the food we have been provided by Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and our family. By the courtesy of our mothers or our husbands or sisters, we are not going to fuss over the food. Be grateful for whatever we have been provided be with and try to be simple. Try to be simple. And we need to realize at this time when we ourselves have experienced the hunger pangs throughout the fast, at this time of the day and throughout the fast, we need to realize the hunger of the hungry and the deprived. And we need to remember and care the thirst of those who are deprived of clean, pure, cool water or drinks. <coughs> and then and then we all should also try to provide food and drinks to our fellow beings for breaking their fast because this will also be a source of reward as much as fasting itself. Now, what comes next is that after the fast has been completed and we have offered our Maghrib Salah, what do we do next? How are we going to plan the night now? Surely and not surely. We are not going to waste the time hoteling and dining out and shopping or winter shopping. No, nothing of the sort. We are not going to waste these auspicious hours and moments and days and nights in just extra worldly activities. What is necessary, what is a necessity should obviously be attended to, but unnecessary indulgement in the unimportant and forbidden and wasteful activities is obviously we're going to all say no to it. Remember the words of the Prophet ﷺ we just narrated? Man qama ramadhanin imanu wa ihtasaban qufira lahu ma taqaddama min zambihi These were the words of the Prophet ﷺ reported by Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu in Bukhari and Muslim. So not what are we going to do after this? Obviously, the supererogatory salah, the salah of Taravi. Remember, it is not obligatory. It is not obligatory. It is supererogatory, but it it was a mandatory sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So if he who was promised as total forgiveness, if he who was the beloved of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he did not omit this. We should not omit this, despite of the fact that it is not obligatory. The reward is great. Why are we not going to omit this salah? Number one, because it was the mandatory mandatory sunnah and the manner of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So we are not going to omit this. Number two, the reward is all the previous sins of the previous life. Whatever we saw, whatever we heard, whatever we talked, whatever we wore, all the disobediences, all the laziness, all the forgetfulness, all the transgressions, all the disobediences will be forgiven. So why waste this, this golden chance? And secondly, offering this salah will be a means by which we will be able to complete one Quran at least. And by this doing so, we will also be completing the sunnah of the Prophet of going through the recital of Quran at least once in Ramadan. 